Welcome back to Life with Liz. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you three easy weeknight recipes and we are going to be having steak stir fry first and then I'm gonna make a cheesy chicken stuffing casserole with broccoli on the side. And then our final recipe is my mom's Mexican cornbread, which is so good. You guys are gonna love this recipe. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you on this journey with me. And to everyone who continues to watch my videos and support me, thank you so much. And let's get to cooking. So first up is our super easy beef stir fry recipe. And we are going to make the stir fry sauce by mixing a fourth a cup of soy sauce and then one tablespoon of honey you want about two cloves of garlic so I just used two tablespoons And then you also want some ginger and chili flake seasonings. It does call for sesame seeds, but I don't ever add that part. Next, we're just gonna give it a really good stir and make sure it's all mixed together. The honey takes a little bit to stir in. Now we're gonna heat up our olive oil on medium high heat. And while that's going, we're gonna start our rice. We're gonna use one cup of jasmine rice and two cups of water. A trick is to use a wooden spoon and lay it over the top so your water does not boil over. And then we're gonna add in our steak. This takes about five to six minutes to cook, so we're just gonna stir it occasionally. And then we're gonna prepare our vegetables, get them all chopped up so that they can cook for three to four minutes with our steak once it is done. I personally like to add some sesame oil. I just think it makes this whole mixture taste even better. And then we are going to add in our sauce that we had made earlier and let that cook up all together for just a few minutes. And then this will be ready to go. And we will just layer it over our rice
And here is our super easy beef stir fry. Now we're gonna start our cheesy chicken stuffing casserole with a side of broccoli. First ingredient is our cream of chicken soup. And we're gonna mix that with a half a cup of milk. Then we're gonna place our chicken breasts in a baking dish. I do like to go ahead and pre-oil this. And then we will dump our mixture of our chicken soup and milk together over the chicken breast. Then we're going to layer our mozzarella cheese over the top. And then we are going to mix our two cups of the dry stuffing mix. followed by our half a cup of melted butter. And then we are going to bake this on 350 degrees for one hour. And you will want the stuffing to be golden brown when it comes out. While that's baking, we are going to start making our broccoli. So we're just gonna get it chopped up. Make sure your pieces are not too small because they will burn. We're gonna add our broccoli to this bowl to make it easier to mix in the spices. We are going to use our garlic first and then extra virgin olive oil. I like to use seasonal garlic pepper, regular garlic and pepper. We are just gonna stir this up really well, add it to our foiled baking sheet, and when our chicken has about 30 minutes left, we'll add this to the oven, let it cook for about 15 minutes, take it out, stir it, and repeat the process, and then it'll be all ready together. Now I'm just gonna cut into my chicken breasts on the thickest area and make sure it is cooked through before serving it up on our plates. This recipe is so good. I hope you enjoy it. This was actually my first time making it and it is definitely getting added to our recipe book here at home to make it again and again. Here is our cheesy chicken stuffing casserole with broccoli. And next up is my mom's Mexican cornbread. First step is to brown our one pound of ground beef. 
You want to stir this occasionally so that it can be all brown. While that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and make the cornbread. I was actually out of egg and the Jiffy calls for that, so I'm going to substitute that with four tablespoons of applesauce. And then I will mix in the milk and the Jiffy cornbread mix as instructed on the Jiffy. And then we're just going to give it a good mix, make sure it looks like your typical cornbread. And now we're going to add in our taco seasoning. I just use two tablespoons or you can just use a packet, whatever you have. I just buy it in bulk and then I'm going to get that all mixed in and stirred together. And then we're going to mix in our canned ingredients. I have a can of corn, a can of beans. I like to use the kidney beans and then Rotel. I did drain all three of these before I added them in. And then we will mix in our mushroom soup. And then we're just gonna stir this up, make sure it's all mixed together. And now we're just gonna add in our shredded cheese. There's no set amount on this, so whatever you like. I just like mine super cheesy. Now we're gonna spray our baking pan with Pam. And then we're gonna add in our beef mixture followed by our cornbread and some more cheese. And then we're gonna bake it at 350 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven.
So here is my mom's Mexican cornbread. Doesn't it look so delicious? This is definitely a comfort meal. You've got to try it. And thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate everyone who is watching, supporting me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you on this journey. And I'll be back here on Monday with another video for you. Have a great weekend.